Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and I'm here to teach you guys how to do Umbra Kinesis. Now as you can see here, I'm going to begin moving the shadow of a side wheel. I'm moving the side wheel through its shadow. And um, this is just basic beginner's stuff. Um, the thing you have to do understand is that uh, you have to get used to the object alone. Get used to the side wheel by itself before trying to manipulate uh, it through its shadow. Um, get familiar with it and master that and uh, you have to understand that the side wheel is connected with the shadow and the shadow is connected with the side wheel they're both one thing and you have to believe that this that the shadow is the side wheel itself and control it as that remember that the shadow is the PSI wheel and that they are connected as one see the shadow as the PSI wheel or any object that you're working with and control it as you would normally with its physical counterpart Remember to master its physical counterpart first before moving on to its shadow. And that goes for any object that you're working with. Now since we're working with a two-dimensional um, projection, which is basically the shadow itself, you have to use a little bit of your imagination than you would normally when you're staring at the physical counterpart of the object itself. And I mean by object, by anything that you're working with, a can or or a little ball or anything like that besides the side wheel you have to use a little bit of imagination to kind of coax the movement of the shadow and to believe that it is connected with the side wheel because they are connected like no matter what it is um and uh just remain relaxed use the same techniques you would with the physical counterpart and believe that the shadow um is the physical counterpart that's basically how you do it and um one thing you have to say is that umbrakinesis, the true to master umbrakinesis, you want to be able to move the shadow separate from the physical counterpart, which means you move the shadow alone without phys uh, physically affecting the physical counterpart. And I hope you guys like the tutorial. It's not too long, but it's the best I can do. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.